Good evening, Rose Garden. Hi. This is Rose with the Chandler's Rose. And I am coming to you tonight, Monday night, with my video. I know I promised to do it yesterday, but I needed a break. So what we are going to do right now is go over the oils, Brambleberry. I thought I still had some Aztec left. I don't. So should I ever get any more, then I will circle back to that. So what I do have tonight is actually all, <laughs> all of my Brambleberry because I have over the years um, stopped buying from them. There's very little, there are very few fragrances I get from them now. And it's not a bad thing. A lot of their oils that I previously used, they stopped caring. Well, um, that means I have to search out other places. And when I do, and I find one that actually smells as good as the original, then I, you know, start looking at other fragrances there. So anyway, so tonight's first one is Arabian Spice. So Arabian Spice is what I call a nutmeg gourmand fragrance it's not really food but it definitely has a nutmeg um, note to it that's very warm warm spicy that i normally would pair with their turkish mocha to make a nice warm masculine blend and i have not purchased arabian spice in a long time um and in fact i'm down to the last five ounces of it possibly and then after this uh, I won't buy it anymore and then the next one I have is Ancient Sedona oh my god okay so Ancient Sedona is a delicious 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 um, masculine fragrance oh my gosh it's got green notes it's okay to me it smells like it has green notes, black pepper, um, ozone, just a wonderful spice in there. And I use this in a couple of blends that I make. And oh my gosh, I had decided that, okay, I need to buy this in a five pound batch because it was lovely. So that's that one. Now, um, black tea is another one that I get from there. And I only have two blends that I actually use this with. And it has, the best way I can describe it is it has a hollow tannins, black pepper, cologne note to it. And what I mean by hollow is it's not cooling, it's not faint, it's there, but when you inhale, it's just something about when I inhale it, it's, it's, it's hollow, but not in a bad way. That's just best. And I know like you're a mixologist and you can't describe it. Shut up. Okay. Anyway, so the next one that I got from them, and I actually decanted this because um, I got a five pound bag of their chocolate espresso that I use in several of my blends as well. And this one, this one smells like the Duncan Hines brownie batter when you first mix it. You know, when you sit there and you mix it up, like, oh my gosh, this is delicious. I just really would rather eat the mix. Yeah, this is what their chocolate espresso smells like. And this is when they used to sell their fragrance oils in the bags, the five pound bags. So that's what happened. That's why I had to pour it off and decant it because it was in a bag. And I use this. This one does not accelerate slightly discolors to a light tan but it's not something that would actually take away from your blend so or your soap or lotion or candle um in my personal opinion so i absolutely love this one this one um oops, sorry about that this one like i said i use it in some of my blends but if i ever had to discontinue it due to price or availability, I wouldn't mind. I could always blend up something else. Okay, 
Then I have cactus flower. There we go. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. So cactus flower is one of those that out of out of the bottle, like when you smell it while it's still in the bottle, it reminds me of this perfume that Teen Vogue, was it Teen Vogue? Yeah, Teen Vogue used to have as an insert. And it's, it's not overly sweet. In fact, it's not really sweet at all. It's just got a soft, sweet hint. Like if you've ever eaten cactus candy, that's what this actually tastes like or smells like, the taste of cactus candy. I have not done anything with it yet, but I will. Just have to find inspiration. And next is gardenia. So gardenia is also from when they had the bags of um, fragrance oils. And this one here, oh God, it smells so good. Okay, so I actually grew up around real gardenias, the Southern variety. And this is a good imitation of a gardenia late afternoon in um, like July, June, July, you know, as everything's starting to settle down. There is, it's got the sweet notes, it's got the sharp note, but it's the green, the green woody fragrance or green woody notes of the gardenia um, that just make it beautiful. And I only use this in two of my blends. In one blend, it accelerates the crap out of the soap. In a different blend, where it's the same ratio, it doesn't. So I think that this, depending on what you blend it with, will um, accelerate your soap. You just gotta be careful. All right, on to spiced mahogany. I haven't purchased spiced mahogany in, oh my gosh, 11 years. And this one, this one has a, this to me, when I smell it, makes me think of those old Victorian style draw, not drawing rooms, but libraries with the heavy, dark furniture and uh, like pipe smoke. This is what this reminds me of. And I used to make soap out of this. Now, I haven't made it out of this one, but it says it discolors to dark brown and CP. And I've always used red whenever I did spice mahogany, red and black. So I never really paid any attention. This one does not accelerate. Um, and I always soap cool. I love this one. This one, black tea and black tie are amongst my favorites of Brambleberry outside of the ancient Sedona. Love it. Oh, and this is my violet. I have so little of this left and I absolutely love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It smells. <sighs> it smells soft and clean and it's got a softness that would make you think that there'd be a baby powder note to it, but it doesn't. Uh, there's no powdery note. It's just soft and delicate and beautiful. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And it does not accelerate in um, cold process soap. It just blends perfectly and I could not be happier. So this is it. This is it. All right. So, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have another one? Oh, 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 <coughs> all right, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <coughs> I told, how could I forget about musk? Okay, so Brambleberry in 2004, 2005 used to have this earth musk that I actually built the most bomb masculine fragrance around. Then they stopped carrying the earth musk and they started carrying musk. Okay, I had to tweak a couple things, add in a couple things. I was able to get the fragrance back to what it was. Then they stopped carrying musk, this musk. And it hurts my heart. I have, I have a little, I have about two ounces in here. And I know that AFI, if you send them um, at least an ounce, they can dupe it for you. 
I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, but I'm going to contact AFI and see if I can get them to dupe this because if I can, then I have 12 fragrance oils or fragrance blends that I can bring back to my lineup that I'm looking forward to doing. So anyway, so that's all I have tonight for the A to Z for Brambleberry. Now, looking at what I do have, um, I have a lot of Rustic Essentials and a lot of the chemistry store. So Rustic Essentials is probably more than likely going to be a three-part series, like A to G, um, H to N, and then the um, the rest, because I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, the chemistry store, probably a three-part, no, two-part series. So anyway, that's all I've got for tonight. Um, yeah, uh, thank you so much for stopping by and we shall talk again. Good night.